What if I were to tell you that one of nature's great unsolved mysteries was a question about feces? <laughs> yes, poop. <laughs> and that answering this question could help scientists protect two of the most threatened ocean communities on the planet. These two groups are seabirds, or birds that feed exclusively from the ocean and only return to land to breed, and coral reefs, which grow in clear tropical waters right next to many of the islands seabirds breed on. Nearly a third of all seabird species are at risk of extinction, and coral reefs are considered one of the most biodiverse and most threatened marine ecosystems in the world. Yet we have no idea how these two co-occurring communities interact with one another. Seabirds are top predators, which means they fly all over the world's oceans, feeding on fish, krill, and squid. And then they migrate thousands of miles back to islands where they mate and raise chicks. Here's where it gets messy. Seabirds deposit poop that is packed with nutrients from the ocean. In fact, seabird poop is so rich in nutrients that it's sold all over the world as an industrial fertilizer. And on some islands, seabirds are known to deposit upwards of 8,000 metric tons of poop. <laughs> That's the weight of 900 school buses per year. But what happens to all this poop? Does it run off into the ocean and fertilize the nutrient-starved coral reefs like miracle grow to a lawn? Does it make seaweed grow and attract turtles and fish that eat this seaweed? Or does it harm and pollute the corals like human sewage is known to? To begin answering this question, I traveled to four tiny islands off the coast of Oahu, Hawaii, where seabirds breed. Some islands had many birds and others had very few. I collected water samples and seaweed growing right next to these islands and I chemically analyzed them for nutrients. What I found was exciting. Next to the island with the most seabirds, there were more nutrients in the water and in the seaweed, indicating that birds, which have traditionally been completely ignored as a source of nutrients on reefs, might actually be really important. So now that I've tracked the signal of bird poop in reefs next door, I want to understand what it means. So the next step of this research is to go even bigger. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, has data from 15 of the most remote, pristine islands in the world. And I'm currently using this data to understand how bird-derived nutrients impact the ecology and ultimately the health of coral reefs. Understanding the links between these two imperiled communities can help us inform predictions regarding both seabirds and coral reefs in the face of global change, which is something that scientists, conservation practitioners, and the public alike should be excited about. So the next time you shake your fist at a bird dropping overhead, remember that sometimes the key to a healthy ecosystem can come in surprising packages. Thank you.